that I have some, <coughs> some issues with and some questions about and some things that we need to go over. I'll tell budget to budget. Budget to budget. All right, why don't we just go? Yeah. That's, that's fine. Let's, let's do it. Where are you going to start at? What? Which budget? Can you budget, budget? Is yours the first one? I like mine's first first. Mine's all out of order because I've got some 8,000 things going on here. We'll start with the road. No, no, no. We'll start with county judge's budget. I looked over the county judge's budget. My, my mm -hmm. number is wrong. If it's page seven, I ran a good question. Yeah, there it is. I'll get mine put back in order right now. Page eight. Uh, page seven. Page seven. No, page seven. Yeah. Page it's page eight. eight. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I looked over the county judge's budget, and I personally saw no issues. Did anyone see any issues? And if so, what are they? I didn't see any. Did you see any, Willie? No. Dustin, did you see any on that? Would you mark anything? A couple small questions. All right, go for it. General supplies, you might keep out page 6, 6, 8, 9, and 6. Is that the only way to use it? Yeah, I only use it in that. Scanning the other. Cell phones, I guess. Will I put it in my phone anymore? No. Because we switched over to that um, new disaster plan, so our bills went down. One of the questions I had, please say. Good. Everybody's happy. You got anything? Nope. Lennon, you got anything? Nope. Everybody's happy with the county judge's budget. That was page eight, so we need to go to nine. Let's get some out of order. I, I just had these things strode. <laughs> and I put it into a pile the ones that I had an issue with. I don't think that's the word. Strode? Strode. I think strode is well. It's fair. Strode. They strode everywhere. Which one's the bad one? County Clerk. Next, next page one. nine. Well, I do have some issues with those. You might have to get her up here. I don't have to have her unless we need her. Don't want to talk about her. Okay. On the County Clerks, we also need to go to page 45. Everybody take the two of them. Here's some of my struggles, and I'm going to start. I'm going to start back. What year did you take off? Seventeen. Seventeen. Is that what year? Is that what year you took off? Is fall seventeen? Took off in Nashville. Nashville. Okay, I'm going to go back to Nashville. All right. If everyone remembers, and, and if you weren't here, this is what I think happened. And if I'm wrong, please tell me. When Paul came in. He wanted to pay his, he assumed that his chief deputy would receive the same house salary that the old one had been receiving, which at that time was about thirty-three or four thousand dollars. We gave him given raises and all kinds of stuff to everyone. But around that time it was that. We told Paul no. That he had to go back to twenty five something. Eight eight thousand dollars is what we cut him back. So if you'll note on this, okay, so that's got his secretary, which is going to be Josh's secretary, making today making thirty-two eight. That's what she's making. She's the chief deputy. She's the only one over there besides them. She's next in command. If you look on the clerk's budget, she lost her chief deputy. She lost her administrative assistant. I think everyone else is in there also. But the pay for her chief deputy. Is 18 five times two. She opted to pay theirs $37,000 and they started six months ago. I'm struggling with, we didn't make her cut it back. She cut it back a little bit. I'm not saying she didn't, but not near to the extreme that we made some of the others. And here's where I struggle is that I, it was brought to my attention this weekend that Josh and his budget, or Paul, whoever done it, had asked for their secretary to make, or their chief deputy to make 35 2. Someone called me over the weekend and made mention that 
they didn't think that was fair that they made that much. That they were going to give theirs more of a raise than what we said to them. We had set a thousand dollars. So I called Josh and I told him, I said, Josh, hey, you know, you, you're supposed to give a thousand. I proposed to. Then I get to looking at this, and I see that we don't follow the guidelines. Ain't the same for everybody. I mean, we're making one follow-up, but we didn't make. Oh, I wish I wish we had a county-wide. But that's what I want. That's, that's what I want to do. And me and Eric talked about it yeah. Friday. Yeah, I just sent that text out there. Yeah, I mean, one day. I wish we had a, a county-wide. Well, that's what I was trying to get done last year. Have, yeah. have each department work on county-wide pay scale. Yeah. Our <coughs> chief deputy used to. So, me and John David had talked earlier that they need to be paid the same in each office. Your chief deputy here, your chief deputy over here. here you know, here's my starting pay for that position should be the same. Yeah, the starting pay should be the same, and it can change. The longer you've been here, the more experience you have. There's other things that factor into that, but to tell this one he's got started 25, and to let this one start at 37 thousand dollars, and this one's been here for five years, and the one that's been here for six months is making more. No, but didn't we give, I mean, we bumped Don up that year, though. We right? did. No, we did. No, I, I'm, I not, thought, I'm not saying yeah. we did the, the year or two later. We gave her a bump. I thought it was that same year. No. No, it was, I think, in 2000. And I, was I have that somewhere in my. I think yeah, I it was, was, I think it was over a year. I know we gave her. Because yeah, no, we did. It's still, not, it's still not right that you have somebody working six months and somebody over there that runs the office. Making five thousand dollars less than what you got somebody six months. Right. I'm she just going to tell you how it is. That, yeah. that, that, that looks like politics to me, and I don't like it. And yeah. I don't have. I mean, it's just like with. Tammy. I mean, my assistant. Yes, sir. She doesn't have. It doesn't say chief deputy, but I mean, she does the insurance. She finds claims. I mean, she's just as important. So it just doesn't say chief deputy behind her name. Right. Yeah. Okay. Here, here's where I'm. I'm struggling. I don't think we can tell the girl that we pay. And I don't even know who it is. I'm not. Listen, I don't know who the chief deputy is. I swear to you, dog. I'm, I can narrow it down to two or three down there. But I don't think, and we're paying an administrative assistant also. Look on that on administrative mm -hmm. assistant. We're paying her $39,000 a year. She's been here for, they started, they took them positions on since March. Those titles. They have been here possibly longer than that one or two. I might have to hire a here. Downstairs, we hired someone in four of 22, 10 of 21, one of 26 of 22, one of 21. Oh, no, that's a different one. Okay, and those three positions down there 22, 20, and 21, and 22. Those four. So, what I'm telling you, they've been here. Less than in Tammy's office, for example, Missy Cross has been there for 22 years. We're paying this girl that's downstairs more money that's been here for six months in this county. I struggle. Now, what I would like to do for today, we've got to get this budget passed, and this thing does need to be passed by these things. We've got to have a starting point. I don't think that we can take money away from the girl downstairs. That we've already paid the rest of this year those dollars. And you can't make her go backwards. But I feel like we've been shafted a little bit by the way that we didn't. Should have at least asked or, I don't know, said something, you know. If we're going to make, we knew that we made the other one go back $8,000 and we'll make this one go back three or four for somebody. We've had 50 years worth of experience leave here. We've cut the whole pay by $5,000. What I would like to do, you all are in favor of, is that we start today that those positions, the chief deputy is going to pay $37,000. So that's what we're paying downstairs. You're talking about chief deputy for every office. I'm talking about for the clerk's office, the assessor's office, the treasurer's office. Is there another one? My, well, my assistant would be considered a... I'm not considering your assistant right now. Collector. The collector. Those are the ones that we consider chief deputies right now. Those are the ones that we... 
That's the one that I wrote down as chief deputy that we're working on. And according to, I talked to Tammy about this earlier. We used to pay, we used to pay fifteen hundred dollars. That was the fifth. Yes, when we first took on the chief deputy position, they were fifteen hundred dollars per chief deputy on top of what they was making in their stuff. That was the fifteen hundred dollars was what we gave them to become chief deputy. To become chief deputy. All right. I want to get to the administrative assistant and some other things. If I was you, I'd be striving to get this administrative assistant job downstairs and pay thirty nine dollars. I'd call my secretary administrative assistant instead of yeah, or well, a chief she deputy. Is, according to, I mean, that's understood. He's called administrative assistant. I understand. But, but now let's go back. So when I took office in seventeen, so. David's administrative assistant was getting paid 30, and you've got them budgets. Right, yeah, no, that's the reason I brought them. It was, I mean, she was making, yeah, she was making way 30. over 30. Uh -huh, correct. And 30, I hired somebody. How much was it? 32,000. 32, and I hired somebody, and I didn't, I wasn't about to start her out because she uh -huh. was unexperienced. Right. And I lowered that budget. Well, I guess I messed up by lowering the budget because once you lower a budget, you can't give the raise. Uh, technically. If, if we have the money budgeted in that line item, that gives us the authority to give that raise, mid-year, whatever. And But I did not start her out at that, and I lowered my budget down to, what did I, 25, I think is what I started her out at. Well, I John and that was fine. I, I think it's, um, now, has it messed up the ones that's been there since? Yeah, I mean, because it, you can't ever catch up to whatever. I mean, when we're giving two thousand, three thousand dollar raises across the board, you can't ever catch up. And it, everybody needs to be fair. Everybody. That's what I'm saying. We have to have a pay scale. Before uh, we start, you can't hire somebody straight off the street as a deputy clerk and say, just because right. you're hiring in at this position, don't mean that you're going to be making thirty seven. I don't think. Well, can we start today by just just a start to make things to square things up with our with our uh, chief deputy? Can we can we start today by paying them all the same amount? No, because like Carolyn Warren, she got her budget forty one two thirty five. I think you got to leave her alone. Well, she's been around for yeah. Well, been around for seven, no, no. Here's, here's my question. Yeah, here's my question. Well, she's been there for ten years. No, 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 no. I'm not saying cutting anybody. No, I'm talking about can we bring the ones up? Can we bring the ones up to the same level? The ones that's been here for 22 years? Like yeah, and bring them up to the ones that's been here six months. Okay, they just pay the pay. I'm going to get to that call. No, no, no. Yeah. I want to bring the people in those four offices, and I want to work on the administrative assistance in all of these. And we're not going to get that punched in between now and December the 31st. I don't think. But I would like to at least start there. And we're going to pay the chief deputy $37,000 unless they currently make more. That, that's going to be our new. And if it was up to me, we would have started that new pay scale at thirty-two or thirty-four thousand dollars, and gave some raises. But that's where we're at. And from that, we can adjust. We can go back later when we set the pay scale up, if y'all want to. I don't care, and try to figure out a way on time and how long you've been here and stuff like that, and adjust those. But thirty-seven thousand dollars has got to be our starting base. If we're not going to do something with the one that's already making thirty-seven thousand dollars in December six months, I'm in agreement with that. That's just not. I mean, if somebody has a better idea, I'm all for it. I just don't know what else you do. I mean, I've kind of been frustrated about it all weekend trying to figure out. Well, technically, all employees are newly hired its first year. Right. Yeah. yeah so just throw that out there. That includes everybody. That includes everybody. Now, can you cut a salary in its first year? I don't know. I wouldn't want to. I mean, I, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to cut somebody's livelihood. I'm just not. I'm not that but cruel. I'm cruel enough to be mad about what happens, and I ain't cruel enough to cut somebody. So let me ask you this, now, Dan. I'm just hearing yeah. what you're saying. Every office, Tammy, collector, assessor, treasurer, clerk, needs to have one chief deputy, yep. and 
just so you all know, that chief deputy has some responsibilities that are trickled down from the elected official. If you're gone, that person's in charge, right? right. Well, yeah. and, but there's other things, too. According to leg audit, there's some separation of duties that we have to do to keep people honest, basically. There's separations of duties that they are responsible for that I don't need to be doing, she don't need to be doing. That's part of having a chief deputy. Okay. So, but what I'm understanding you saying, every, all the four of those offices will have one chief deputy. And you want to pay, start them paying them at 37 if they're not there yet. But what are you going to do about an admin specialist that's making 39 now? No, that's a problem. been around less than a year. I agree. That's a problem. What do you all want to do about that? Yeah, no, I agree. That's a problem. And what are we going to You can't pay them more than you pay the chief deputy. Mm -hmm. Chief deputy is the next person in charge. Yeah, right. And I don't know what we do. Who is the, uh, where, what is the, does anybody know who the person or, I mean, I'm just asking. I don't, I don't, what the duties are, what they are, or what. Yeah. And I mean, the, like my assistant, I mean, and yeah, I mean, technically she runs the office too. If I'm not there, she signs all the bills and. These are chief deputies. Answer. They've got a lot more responsibilities than that. that moment. Sorry. We'll get, they'll get to that one. We're just talking about chief deputies right now. Mm -hmm. yeah. Admin, admin specialist making 39000 That's all we're worried about. So yeah. Stop bringing it up. Yeah, I just, I don't know. It's... Well, now, she works in the Clark's office. So you got that? Haley and Marcy. Mm -hmm. One of them two. I don't know which one's which. I don't have a clue. I don't either, and I don't care. I'm not, I'm not picking on either one of them. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. That's not where I'm going with this. I know that we've got to. But how did we hire, how did we hire men at 39000 because you had two employees that had been there for 50 years, years. and they just carried that salary over on the hire. Uh, she dropped them one of them by a thousand well, and one of yeah, them by So four. once you have that money budgeted in that line, that gives elected official that authority. Yeah, yeah, so, I understand that. And that's what I saw in John Davis. If we don't have a, if we don't have well, a it was budgeted. Out, it was budgeted for Maryland's office, but y'all made uh, that oh, one cut it. You did that budget. That's correct. You did yeah. that. You did that. I didn't even I, get to do wait, that. Wait, you, did. you were involved in that too. I never well, said a word about, about it. it. I never uh, said a word about it. You did that. There was a because I'd cut my you budget. You just said that as long as the money was already budgeted, it's okay. You yeah. throw the fit and made him cut his budget. That's exactly whenever right. he come in office. That is weird. Right. Yeah, he cut his cut. I wasn't the only one involved in that. Okay. But, well, she come in green too. I mean, and really, that's. But the thing about I mean, it, I don't know why we're starting out people so high. It should, it, it should have been the same for everybody. Somebody else could have started dirt out of twenty five thousand dollars. I did. I, I started I'm talk, my election. I'm talking about all elected officials. Yeah. It was wrong for you to do it in two thousand eighteen, and it's wrong today for it to have been done in the last six months of the year. I don't care if it's Josh or who it is going into the office. There ought to be a pay scale, and there ought to be something yes, to go well, back. I, I will you, agree with you 100%. You should emphasize that in 2018 when you did the budget instead of sitting there doing a budget and didn't even ask me to help with my own budget. I'm just telling you, you did the budget, and I've known it for four years, and I've kept my mouth shut, and I'm unfiltered now. I have nothing to lose. you done it, and don't give it credit to nobody else. Nobody else. You take your own responsibility. And you take it like it's supposed to be. If I do something wrong, I take responsibility. It's your turn. Right. We're good. No, we're not good. I can't help it that you promised her that. Amount I can't of money. help it that you did my budget either. Well, I, I didn't have you. I didn't have that also. I didn't that have was Maryland's budget. I didn't have You've got to stop course. blaming people that's I'm not, not here. That was Maryland's budget. Right. She never touched it. <laughs> Come on. It's kind of like blaming Becky for uh, the other stuff after she's gone. All right, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> Explain this to me. Right. We got problems. What we got yes. to figure out. Okay. Explain this to me because I don't know because I'm not in your office. What is the difference between a chief deputy and an administrative assistant? I don't have an administrative assistant, so I don't know. I okay. Don't either, Paul Cammy, I, I mean, one. explain to me, please, because I don't have Paul don't have one either. Uh, I, don't I don't have, I don't have, have one. an administrative assistant, just like a chief. In, in, the, pri in the private term, an uh, administrative assistant is a secretary. Okay. In in here, an uh, office um, chief deputy has to take over and take all the responsibility. When I was gone in COVID, uh -huh. everything was under her. She had to take all the responsibility. Okay. During this cancer deal, 
everything that goes on, it's on her belt. That means millions of dollars sometimes right. too. Okay, so from Chris one down to administrative assistant, can y'all describe that to me? I don't know. I mean, in the secretary. I mean, that's what they allow. In the, in the state, it's the secretary. It's that's, yeah, awarding, that's what awarding the secretary is an admin assistant. They answer the phone. They direct people when they come in to where they need to be. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to find what the job is. Let's, let's go back to this for a second. Okay. Let's all be clear. Is everyone all right? We're going to get to this administrative assistant deal here in a second. And I'm not sure what I'm we're going to get to. We're going to talk about it. Is everybody all right with paying $37,000? To Missy, to Donna, to the new girl downstairs, whichever one it is, and paying his what she's made because she's been here for a long time. She already makes more. Is everybody good with that? The Thirty-seven thousand dollars is going to be the new starting pay for a chief deputy in Eagle County. What are they currently making? Uh, Thirty-five, thirty-six two is what it's going to. I think with the race, I think it's about eight hundred dollars more than what we had originally. <coughs> Talk about on the raise, except for Donna's, and it's going to go up more than that. But we start her at twenty-five thousand dollars. She deserves it. Yeah. And I and she's been here six years, and the ones downstairs have been here for six months. Well, whatever. And Donna works in whose office? Uh, no. In it's going to be Josh's person. Okay. And she's came in in two. It's not been six years. She came in in two thousand and eighteen. <laughs> so she's been here four. I just feel like we got to get on the level. I, I think we got to start top. somewhere, and I think. Unless we're going to lower the $37,000. If y'all want to do that, I'm fine with it. If not, let's go at $37,000. Let's pay all of them back. Unless they're currently making more than that. That's only one person that's currently making more. But then we're going to start paying for it somewhere that she just has to be. Correct. Yeah. But that's going to be, we're going to use that. We're going to the budget next year unless there is a pay scale. Yeah, we're going to use that in our budgeting next year, in our pay scale scheme that $37,000 is the starting base for anybody that. One of them leaves and the new one comes in. They're going to start at thirty-seven thousand dollars. We're all going to pay the same. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, do y'all do y'all agree that we should pay the same? You got to yeah. start somewhere. I, I just we got to get started. Okay, now this administrative assistant that's going to create us an issue, as Warren has said, because Eric's going to want to give his thirty-nine thousand or thirty-seven thousand dollars, and Tammy's going to have some that she's going to want to give more to, and all the rest of them. What do we want to do about that? Do we want to? I ain't asking for thirty nine dollars. No, I no, I understand that. But what do we want to do about this one? Judge, what's your opinion, honestly? I mean, your honest opinion on the, on the administrative assistant that's been here six months making thirty nine thousand. No, I, I don't agree with you. Okay, what what do you think we should? What what is your opinion? What we think we should do? Well, I guess because our office now the clerk's office is totally different than mine. I don't know what their response to I've never I don't know the administrative assistant how they even classify that. I don't know what their job duties that you would have. What do you think thirty five? Go I don't think it should be as high as a deputy clerk, no. Because basically they don't have any other responsibility as far as trickle down lawfully. Correct. I mean, my, I mean, mine. She does run the office. If I'm not, there. yeah, I understand. I mean, if I went to the administrator and I was using the administrator's office, is she the one that's able to pay out? Is she the admin? Yeah. I don't None of them are making decisions. I don't know. I don't know any other so. Judge, what's, what? Ta what's Tammy's position? Your payroll clerk. That, that's the only thing I'm thinking of is admin with payroll clerk. That's that's the only thing I can come back to on that, on the clerk's office. On administrative admin. On um, administrative admin would be probably Tammy's position now. I'm guessing. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you You're know, talking about his, his? No. No, I'm talking about Shelly's Tammy. Hey, Shelly's Tammy. Okay. I'm talking about Shelly's Tammy. Okay. Did that, <laughs> did that used to be in the judge's office? No. no. Okay, it's always been that. It's way. always yeah. been, okay. and I, I feel like that, that. I just feel that way. I don't know this, but I feel like that probably the admin is coming in for the the payroll part of it. Is what I'm thinking. I don't. I don't, I don't know. know. I think the two highest payer in the back office. I believe. I don't know. All right. I'm looking for suggestions. <laughs> what we should do about that. 
We ain't got any yet. I don't blame y'all like this fishing for not wanting to say. But if y'all got something you do want to say, I'll listen. I don't have anything to lose. I'll say. I don't think it's right for a chief deputy to make two thousand dollars less than an officer in this state. I mean, the responsibilities are a whole lot more, and you got a chief deputy making thirty-seven thousand, but you got an office admin making thirty-nine. There's a problem there. A bad problem, and it should have been taken care of. No, I mean that's that's my problem is that. It wasn't taken care of before the sale, or before the hire, or before the. We almost need a. I mean, if we don't have a pay scale, if we had a committee set up for new hires, yeah. so I want to put a pay scale in place. Yeah. That, that way, we just know from this point forward if this is what it's going to be. Yeah. If we come in here and get thousand dollar raises or three thousand dollar raises, it's straight across the board. And, uh, yeah. But you got to have a start. But if you had a committee that, yeah. you know, when that no, new person was hired, that would be a good idea for the future to have a hiring committee. When a new hire comes on, you, you need to present their qualifications or blah, 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 and then this is what we're going to pay. Yeah. You know, yeah. Give pay will take care of that. We don't need to interview people for a job. No, we're, we're not, not an interview. We're not. You need to just be agreeing on what the elected official wants to pay for. But if we have a pay scale set up, we can take care of it. Yeah, it will. So are we going to continue to pay that person $39,000 a year for this bucket cycle, or are we going to change it? We can't get rid of that. Okay. So we're going to pay her $39,000. We're going to pay everybody else $37,000. Like I said, it's just, it's not really right, but I really don't know what they do. But, you know, I don't know. Well, I'm going to say it's going to See, that's what I run into, is that everybody wants yeah. to raise theirs up, and that's the reason that I almost didn't even do it. It's because when you start there, it's, well, I want to raise this one, and I want to raise this one. She don't want to raise all hers. You just want to raise everybody? Well, well, you know, know what I'm saying? saying. We're I mean, giving everybody a $1,000 raise, and I agree. I think that we need to. Then let's go back, and let's just give everybody a $1,000 raise and just go on. Just go on? Just be done with it? Just go yeah. on? Okay, you know, so you think that, okay. Now, now that's, that's kind of selfish, but whatever. <laughs> hey, if that's what you want to do, we'll I'm just going to any raises. I've got a good idea, Derek. Let's forget the raises. And you're talking about somebody who's health insurance for their family. Even with a $1,000 raise, y'all understand, my bring home pay next year will be less. Okay. It's going to cost me over $1,200 more next mm -hmm. year to pay for my insurance. So here's an idea. Forget the raises next year for everybody, since we obviously can't get along. Until we get a pay scale plan set in place, and that pay scale will be the starting pay, and some people may have to go down, and some may go up. And once we get it that in place, I'll give us an initiative, put it in place, and we might actually be able to budget it and appropriate the money April, May, June, whenever we can get a pay scale done. There's your idea, and when, I'm, when I say that, I mean every single employee in the county. Who said, forget the raises, pay the insurance. Forget the raises. All the way around. Just keep... Well, the money, the just, money will be appropriated. Just roll it. For the raises, but it won't be in place until a pay scale comes in. That's what you're trying to say, correct? I, I wouldn't even put the money in place. Reappropriate it at that point. Once you get a pay scale in place. Because I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't think somebody should make $39,000 that's not been here for but a year. That's and you're doing it because you don't want to take money away from her. I understand, but <laughs> she hasn't been making that money very long. <laughs> what, what, here's the here's the flip side. What are you going to do? Let everybody else make thirty nine thousand dollars a year? Well, I'm still kind of hung up on what he was saying a minute ago. Not give the raises. Don't get the raises. Don't get raises. You want to go ahead and pay for the insurance because of the increase? No, I know. I'm saying. Say, no, I'm just telling you. Answer, that's what, what? Here's what I don't think y'all get. Okay, and I've been called selfish. I've been told that we're standing on employees' necks, and it really bothers me because I'm the one that comes up with these projections on whether we can give a raise or not. And I can promise you, of all the people in this room, I'd like to get a raise more than anybody. I'll promise you that. I got three kids, two of them in college. Yep. And like I said, I don't have an option for insurance 
insurance for my family except for here. My insurance is going up more next year than what a thousand dollar raise will cover. And I'm telling you, forget the raises if we can't get along and everybody wants to be selfish, even though I've been called selfish. <laughs> forget the raises until we come up with a pay plan and every title position has a starting pay and everybody has a current pay. Some people may go up and some may have to come down. It's, it's, it's the beast we created and we need to fix it. We need to fix it now. That's right. And I'm just trying to figure out how to offset the increase from the insurance. For all the employees, the their it's only going to go up about seven dollars of like, what they are being paid. But what like Warren said, he's got a family. Look, there's, there's only two that have families. There's three, three now. Okay, well, we've got we've got a married couple that both work for the county, so one of them has to cover the kids. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That means me I'm not married. I'm working for the state. 10 years, we'll work 21 years. And half them 10 years that I worked, I brought some money home last yeah. every year because of it. <laughs> and nobody helped. <coughs> it just come out of my salary and I made $100 less a month. <laughs> and that happened year after year after year. And we didn't get, we didn't get a, they gave me bonuses. But they didn't, like you said, they didn't get well, That's what I'm trying to figure out how to help y'all cover the insurance increase. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not as concerned about that as I am with this pay scale. <laughs> okay. From between the offices, I didn't bring that up to tell you to, because of my situation. I brought that up to tell you I'm the one that has to decide we've got enough right. money to give raises, and it, and it's hard. It's right. hard to sit here and say no. We didn't have enough money to give a fifteen hundred dollar raise. But I do it because I do it because I think that's what's right for me to do for my job, mm -hmm. for the people of Vision County, for the betterment of Vision County. I'm going to tell you the truth about the about our revenue, that's not because point. I want to raise, mm -hmm. but then to see we've got one year employees making thirty six and thirty nine thousand dollars. You know, you got a twenty two year old year employee making thirty five. <coughs> you got another twelve or fifteen year employee making forty. We got to get this back in line. Yeah. And, and now may be the time to do it. I don't know. I mean, you either make a big swing at it and do it right now, and you might lose some people. But frankly, we're fat. We're pretty fat right now. We come out of the I ain't going to deny that either. There's a, there's a lot of places we can go. A lot. And y'all know that. You either make a big swing at it, you fix it right now, or you come up with a plan to fix it a little bit over time, over the next. However many years it's going to take. That's just because we figure it ahead, they'll fix it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Here, here's the deal. We fixed the $37,000 deal. We've all agreed. So we're going to start to the $37,000. The only thing that's standing in our way at the moment is this $39,000 deal. I don't know if we want to fix that today. If not, are, are we going to be able to pay all of our other employees $39,000? Are we going to be able to pay his assistant $39,000? Are we going to be able to pay one of Tammy's assistants $39,000? Or are we going to say today that the assistants are going to make $35,000? Or thirty-four, whatever it is. And then we're going to go back and look at a pay scale over time. at the starting point. And time served and this, that, and other. We'll add to that or whatever. Wanda, can I say something? You sure can. I'd like for you to, please. I'm talking about my office okay. and just what, what I'm hearing from all of y'all saying. My chief deputy is at 36200 and something. If you're going to pay an administrative assistant, I don't have one, so I would be putting one in place. Okay, so now then, you're going to have to bump my chief deputy up because I'm going to bump her up. If she's chief deputy, she's going to go to the admin page. 